Hey, what's up everyone? John of the Geek here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up a wireless adapter uh, with your Hackintosh. And now, so this is, uh, for right now, it's only going to be working for 10.6.8 Snow Leopard. Uh, I can't seem to get it working with uh, Lion, partly because I don't think uh, the companies here have uh, Lion drivers uh, out yet. So for now, I'm just going to have to show you for the uh, Snow Leopard stuff. And so basically, um, I have here the ASUS uh, USB N13 wireless and USB adapter. And uh, on Amazon, it's 20 bucks. Very inexpensive, works very well. It's wireless N, uh, but also wireless G2 if you uh, even um, are worried about that. But uh, basically, I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm at the website here. And I'm going to download uh, the drivers. And I'll choose Mac OS. And basically, it only has, let's see, ah, the drivers here. Let's go ahead and download uh, Global. Let that download. So I'm going to go ahead and open that. And it's a uh, DMG, so I'll double click on there. It's going to open. Right, and so uh, it comes packaged with uh, various um, OSX versions 10.3, 10.4, 10.5, and 10.6, which is what we are on. There's a note here for Snow Leopard. Um, if you got an install failed message, please reinstall again until success because it's a bug in Snow Leopard. Um, yeah, so let's hope this works then which I'm pretty sure it will. All right, so there's an uninstall and an install package, so I'll just go ahead and double click the install one for now. And uh, after installing this, there's gonna be a, a restart needed. So uh, after this is finished installing, I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, restart the system and then plug it in. So we'll be right back. All right, so uh, I've just restarted my system. The software installed just fine, and uh, uh, have, I'm going to plug in my uh, wireless device now, and uh, I just unplugged my Ethernet cord, and I just have um, uh, a new device here, which is the wireless uh, device that I just started. And I'll go into the applications and look for the ASUS wireless utility program here. You don't have to start this up. Usually when you uh, plug in the... The wireless adapter it'll automatically start up but I'm just gonna have it running now I'm gonna plug in my uh, wireless adapter it says here it's a new uh, network device has been I'll just cancel that I'm already in uh, in here and then uh, so right here is where we see the uh, SSIDs that's located around uh, where I'm at and uh, the one that I have set up is the geek here so I'll just click on it and click on connect. There's a uh, password and I'll just go ahead and put that in. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Click on OK. So I'll give it a few, a few seconds. Could take uh, up to maybe a minute or two, depending on your wireless network or your router, how long it takes to uh, uh, hand out an IP address so uh, I don't want to make you wait I'm just gonna cut it here alright so uh, after about 10-15 seconds it connected again and uh, here I have uh, wireless connectivity so I'll just go ahead and start up the internet here alright so uh, that that's it's pretty much it that's uh, the ASUS USB N13 all right, so the next device uh, that I'm going to set up is the uh, Patriot wireless and USB adapter. And so um, this is a fairly inexpensive device, and it was really meant for the uh, Patriot box office media player. I guess they have their own kind of media player thing. Uh, but it does work for a regular wireless adapter for Mac and Windows and so I'm on the website here and again all of the links will be in the description for you to download and uh, if you just go to downloads here 
There is uh, these drivers uh, for the wireless and USB adapter. Let's go ahead and click that. I've already downloaded it. It's right here in this wireless N folder, right? And uh, one of the folders here, they also it's also compatible for Linux as well. Um, but one of the folders is Mac, and so within this folder. Uh, is the Realtek 11 and USB Mac OS X 10.6. So I'll just go ahead and unzip that, right? And uh, at this point, I'm actually going to quit the Asus Utility app program and uh, unplug the Asus Utility. I've already downloaded everything I needed to download. So I'll just run the installer here and install this uh, uh, software for the USB Patriot. See what the customize is. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Okay. So let that install. I can close this now. All right. So now that it's installed, uh, you're gonna give it a restart, and we'll be right back. All right. So uh, the system restarted, and now I'm gonna plug in the um, wireless adapter. I have the. Uh, network preferences opened here and uh, if you do get this uh, a new network interface has been detected click on network interfaces so it brings up here and then it uh, adds it to your network preferences which is this right here the uh, RTL 81 something something and uh, make sure that you click on apply so that it kind of enables it and turns it on Right, so once you do that in the Realtek uh, Wireless LAN Client Utility, which is uh, in the Applications folder right here, you can start up. Uh, or it should actually already start up automatically. But um, essentially, same thing. Uh, you go to Available Network, click on the Geek, click on Connect. There's a password required. Right, and uh, my super secret password here. All right, so uh, again, you're going to have to give it a few seconds for it to acquire. Oh, there we go. And let's start up the internet. And there you have it. Everything seems to be working good. All right, so that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you later.